And I hated her, but I just thought she was just too raunchy, just too weird. And then, I mean, the raunchy weird stuff just started like being good for like the camera, I guess, you know, mm -hmm. so. I'm a woman, I could feel you. I knew she was still around. That's why I still had my niggas around. So you still had guys <laughs> on the side? No, I just, I thought we was ready for a family. Sorry that we not, but you ain't my nigga. How we gonna break up with a bitch? How we gonna break up with a baby? Mm, I'm just run away then. Mm -hmm. In the wake of rumors about her relationship, Cardi B has stepped out to confirm the fears of millions of her fans. She has confirmed that she's now single. This rumor began with Blueface's flurry of tweets where he threw shade at everyone possible, including his baby mama, Krishan Rock. In one of the tweets, Blueface exposed his baby mama for cheating on him with rapper Offset in LA. Social media went agog with this claim, with no one believing him until Cardi B's declaration of singleness confirming the authenticity of Blueface's tweet. We all know there's definitely more to the situation. So what's up with Cardi B and Offset's marriage? Stay tuned as we unravel that in this video. On Sunday, December 10th, Blueface turned to his Twitter to start a controversy by accusing his baby mama, Krishan Rock, of sleeping with Offset, one-third of the Migos rap trio. Krishan entered the conversation and claimed Blueface was making up the allegations. Blueface then reiterated that Krishan slept with Offset by providing the alleged date and time the incident happened. November 10th at 4 a.m., as well as the location, Offset and Cardi B's residence in Los Angeles. Two days before Blueface took to Twitter to post the tweets that were about to wreak havoc on a celebrity relationship, he had jumped on X. He revealed to his followers that he secretly did a DNA test on Krishan Rock's son and discovered that he was not the father of the child. Tell me why I swabbed this baby's DNA. Test results came in. I am not the father. SMH, person face palm emoji. It's a bittersweet feeling because I was coming around to it, but definitely in my best interest. Prayer hands emoji. Thank you, Jesus. Smiley face emoji. Blue face posted on his ex account. Now this tweet left many fans scratching their heads as they remembered that Krishan Rock and Blueface had taken a paternity test on their show run by Zeus Network, Crazy in Love. The test reportedly revealed that Blueface was most likely the father of Rock's child. Right after Blueface denied being the baby's father on Twitter, fans started doubting him, thinking he was fabricating the situation. Not long after, Krishan Rock jumped on Twitter and shared a video of herself with a caption saying she was driving in her car at 160 miles per hour. She said she was in a rush to get to her son, Krishan Jr., who was carried by Blueface. According to the video, the time was 4 a.m., and Blueface had been drinking in a penthouse before he started calling her nonstop. She claimed she left the baby at home with her friend Marsh, who had been living with her while she went to the studio to record with Kay Suave. So long story short, I'm at the studio, and I'm trying to lay this record down. My BD's calling me, calling me. I'm like, what is he calling me for? So I don't answer for real. I finally picked the f up. This f is with Marsh. Oh, I got it. So I'm like, Marsh, what's up? She's like, Sean, you at the studio, right? I'm like, yeah, what's up? Blueface. But Marsh couldn't prevent Blueface from breaking in. She claimed Blueface took the baby to make her come to him so he could beat her for being with K Suave. She expressed concern about her baby's whereabouts, stating he was taken without clothes and labeled Blueface a demon. I won't be surprised if you're not on the fucking birth certificate. Do you hear me? Talking about some, give me my boy. Like I'm not playing with your toxic ass right now, y'all. It's all about healing, having a healthy child. You get me? Like you say, why you leave? I was not happy. I was not happy, y'all. You wasn't happy. I wasn't happy. It wasn't healthy. On the same day, Krishan Rock posted a tweet expressing her need for a tattoo artist, stating, "I need a tattoo artist. I need all this covered up. Enough is enough." The tweet hinted at her intention to cover up one of her many tattoos related to Blueface. True to her word, she followed through with the plan, earning praise from fans, especially for choosing to remove a particularly notable tattoo. This tattoo featuring Blueface's face prominently on her neck had been a topic of much discussion, making her decision to cover it up a significant move. 
Meanwhile, while everyone thought it had ended, Blueface returned to Twitter that day to drop another explosive tweet. And that was when he targeted Offset. He tweeted something like, Having a tattoo of someone isn't cool. You were with Cardi B's husband just a few weeks ago. I'm tired of you guys looking at me while they're with you. Get rid of the rest of the tattoos, please. This sparked a heated argument on Twitter involving not only Blueface and Krishan, but also Offset, NLE Choppa, and NLE Choppa's baby mama. Krishan Rock responded to Blueface's claim, calling him out for making things up. However, she dropped a bombshell by revealing that she decided to cover up her tattoo of Blueface for another reason. She claims she found gay-related content in his internet search history that made her question his preferences. She clarified that there was nothing wrong with having different preferences, but wished he had communicated that earlier in their relationship. I don't even know why you watching gay porn. I'm glad you don't want to be my baby daddy. Blueface dismissed her claim as made up, as she was obviously upset with him. Days after, Offset took to his ex page to clarify Blueface's cheating allegation when he tweeted, I ain't never talk or touch that lady. Real talk, man, you need some help. Meanwhile, what's more interesting about the whole issue is the fact that Offset and Cardi B are going through a rocky period in their relationship. Fans noticed that the two had unfollowed each other on Instagram in previous weeks. Also in a previous live video, Cardi cryptically alluded to her new relationship status saying, you gotta get rid of dead weight, and when it comes to dead weight, I'll say mentality, procrastination, laziness, and people. A lot of people are dead weight too. This seems like a subtle calling of offset a dead weight. But the situation took a more definitive turn when Cardi B addressed Offset's cheating rumors on an Instagram Live session. She confirmed that she is currently single and has been for a while. I've been single for a minute now, but I have been afraid to like, not afraid, I just don't know how to tell the world, said the Grammy Award winning rapper in the live video. The whole situation gets more puzzling considering the timeline of their breakup. Cardi B didn't specify exactly when she and Offset called it quits. This raises the possibility that if they had already split before the date mentioned in Blueface's tweet, Offset technically wouldn't be guilty of cheating as implied. Blueface's tweet suggests he might have had insider information about the breakup before it became public and used it as a platform to gain attention. Cardi B appears genuinely distressed by the unfolding events. During her live stream, she conveyed a sense of not caring much about the truth behind the accusations. Instead, she expressed eagerness to start the new year fresh and open. I'm curious for a new life, for a new beginning, and yeah, I'm excited, she admitted. During the live, she also acknowledged that her recent social media activity has been full of clues about her relationship status. I don't know if you guys have been getting clues from me, from my lives, or from my stories when I put some certain music or find my unfollowings, she said during the live. One of them including unfollowing Offset, as she mentioned. Also on December 4th, the Bongos rapper shared some cryptic messages that hinted at possible relationship trouble on her Instagram stories, including, you know when you just outgrow relationships, she added to the statement. I'm tired of protecting people's feelings. I gotta put myself first. Offset also posted to his Instagram story in the wake of the unfollowing news. He posted a Scarface clip to his story featuring Al Pacino yelling, Hey, screw you, man. Who put this thing together? Me. Who do I trust? Me. This isn't the first time divorce news would spring up between the couple. Cardi B and Offset began dating in early 2017 and were married in September of the same year. In late 2018, several months after the birth of their daughter, Cardi announced that the two had decided to part ways. They reconciled in mid-2019, but Cardi filed for divorce from Offset in 2020 before withdrawing the filing weeks later. Meanwhile, on the social media battlefield, Krishan Rock continued to engage in a Twitter feud with Blueface. She accused him of attempting to flirt with Marissa, NLE, Choppa's baby mama, and claimed that Marissa rejected Blueface's advances. Marissa had brought up the issue on an Instagram Live with Krishan. She went on to recall that Blueface got angry with her when she brought up how she's friends with Krishan Rock. Krishan Rock took to Twitter saying, You're over there trying to get with NLE Choppa's baby mama. And she turned you down. You're not smooth, my boy. That's a wrap on the event that made social media hot during the weekend. What are your thoughts on this whirlwind of events? 
Share your opinions in the comments section. And don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for more updates because the tea is never ending.